welcome back to my channel. If you are new, hi, my name is Jani and I am a second year OBGYN resident and I have a channel about all things women's health, fashion, beauty, and lifestyle. I would love to have you back and if you would just click the little subscribe button in this corner, I'd be eternally grateful. You can also follow me on social media, especially on Instagram, which is where I'm most active and I will leave my handle in this little corner. All right. So today we are going to be going through my work bag. Um, this is a video that I really enjoy watching, just what people have in their bag. And I think it's a different take since I am a resident, so I have a lot of different and unusual things in my bag. Um, you might ask yourself why I'm, I'm wearing a beanie inside, and it's because I washed my hair today and left it to air dry and for some reason it's like incredibly poofy so just to make myself look less like a crazy person beanie so without further ado let's go ahead and get started my work back is the dagny dover landon carryall in the medium size and this is i think i believe it's called the rose um the rose color so I'm going to go ahead and open it up and we're just going to start digging through my work bag. So I have a set of gloves in my bag and the reason is because now that it's winter time in the morning my car is really cold in the inside and my steering wheel gets incredibly cold and bothers my hands. So even if it's not that cold, um, I usually take them with me so that I can use them to drive and that way not have frozen hands by the time I get to work. So we have a stethoscope. Um, I have the Litman Classic 2SE. This is an old model, they don't make it anymore. And I have it in the Caribbean blue color with the rainbow chest plate. And it has the gold um, earpiece. I also have a liter camelback bottle and this is something that I like to take to work and keep it full so I can stay hydrated. I must admit I am not the best at staying hydrated, especially at work. Um, usually when I'm on labor and delivery it's a little bit easier to stay hydrated because I keep it on my desk and then whenever I'm charting I'm just like drinking water. But whenever I'm in clinic or in another rotation where I'm like gynecology where I'm all over the hospital, it's a lot harder to stay hydrated. So this kind of serves me as motivation because I know it's a full liter. So I know that if I drink one, at least I had one liter and then I try to push myself to refill it and try to drink at least two liters a day. And it helps with that accountability. So I really, really like that. Um, so I have this little pouch that comes with the Landon bag. It's like a little mesh um, pouch. It has a little tag here that you can attach on this side and we'll get to that a little bit later. And inside I have, I have some really random stuff. So I have two measuring tapes and we use these in the clinic um, and in triage to measure the fundal height, so measure pregnant ladies' bellies. Um, and it kind of gives us an idea of their gestational age. So if you're 28 weeks, you should be around 28 centimeters from your pubic bone to the top of your uterus. And um, you have plus two or minus two centimeters should be appropriate for gestational age. Um, I also have some a business card for one of our department managers. I have a little notepad with sticky notes. I have this surgeon USB guy that is missing his arms and legs that are also here. So I have arms and legs and the little dude here. You can take his head off. Um, let's see, I'm just gonna keep putting things over here. I have some Allegra for allergies and I have a hair tie. And then that is all that is in this little pouch. I have a dating wheel, an OB wheel, and I don't really use this that much, but I got it 
at a seminar one time and I always wanted to have one so I've just kept it in my bag um, these are useful for when your phone's not working or out of battery and you need to calculate someone's gestational age um, this can be very very helpful I have this Thunderbolt to gigabit Ethernet adapter and the reason that I have this is because we are taking our in-training exam so every year in residency uh, you take an exam based on your specialty and ours is called CREOGS. Well our institution decided to not provide us with laptops anymore so we have to use our personal laptops and for that last year they asked us to buy an ethernet adapter to be able to connect our laptops. So since Apple doesn't have an ethernet port, you need to buy this little adapter to be able to use it. It's still unopened, I still haven't used it, and apparently we're not gonna need to use it this year. So I just, I'm carrying it around in case that we do. Have, um, I have one ID badge, I have another ID badge, and I have my wallet, which is this really nice Tory Burch card case that I got it online for myself last year, and I really like it. I can put this easily in my scrub pocket, I can put it inside my jacket pocket, and um, I have all of my cards accessible. I can put cards, more cards and cash in this little slot. And really, this is all that I need. I really don't need a bigger wallet. So I have an Apple charging cable that I got from Amazon. It's an Amazon Basics cable. Um, it's actually blue color, and I found that Amazon Basic um, Apple charging cables are really, really good. Um, so I just keep buying a lot of them and have them all over the house because we keep losing them. So I have, these are my little cheat sheets for my patients whenever I'm on the floor. I have my MacBook charging cable and I have this little wheel adapter thing that is now broken in this corner right here. Um, and it just keeps your cable nice and put away and also helps to prevent it from bending and then getting damaged. So one of my co-residents actually got this first and then all the rest of us decided to get it as well. And now I need to buy a new one because somehow I broke it, but I will link it in the description box below. I have my ear phones, earbuds, whatever with the little adapter because I have the old version. Um, not the lightning port one. I have a lot of stuff in my bag. That's why I need a really nice, big, comfortable bag. I have my pager right here uh, that I think might be out of battery and I really should get that replaced. Um, I have a wireless mouse for my computer that is also from Amazon Basics. Um, this is actually a really good mouse. It was super cheap and it works really, really well. I've had it for about maybe two, three years now, and I love it. This was a godsend when I was studying for STEP, and now that I'm studying for CREOGS, it's super helpful when I'm uh, on my half, my computer in a desk or on a table, I just use my mouse and you don't really need a mouse pad or anything. And then I got this little zipped up case for it. And it's one of those that you connect the little USB to your computer and then that's it. It even comes with the Amazon batteries, which I think is super adorable. I have a weird thing that I put here. It's a webcam cover that I got at a conference once. Um, I just put it in my bag in case I ever need it. I have one of these little spiral hair ties that I got from Loft. It actually matches my sweater, it's so pretty. Uh, my sweater is also from Loft. Uh, yeah, I have a Loft obsession. I have another badge reel uh, that is in this package that we must have gotten at an activity or something. Apparently, I have a thing for candy. I have some hair bowl gummy bears and a squished mini Snickers. I have a pole socks that I also got from Amazon. So you're starting to see a trend here. I get a lot of things from Amazon. I might do um, like a favorite, Amazon favorites um, 
most useful things I've gotten from my Amazon video, let me know in the comments below if that's something that you are interested in because I think it would be really, really fun. So this is a pulse oximeter. It basically measures your heart rate and the oxygen levels in your body and you just put it on your finger. It, I think it came with a little case. So, and I think this was like maybe $20 on Amazon. So I just thought it was a good purchase because I use this more in medical school, but I've had to use it maybe once or twice um, in residency. I have a receipt from Office Depot. I have a uh, little speaker. So we got this little speaker actually when we went to Puerto Rico. We wanted um, a waterproof speaker that wasn't expensive because I really want the JBL um, speakers, but we have a Bose um, mini speaker that is still very functional. So it really makes no sense to buy an expensive speaker when we already have one. So we just bought this cute little cheap one from Target. The brand is Alltech Lansing. It actually works really well. It has um, one of these micro, what do you call it, adapters. So you can charge it in any Android kind of charging station. Um, it has really good volume and I like it for when we're on call. We just like to put on music and just kind of like decompress in our little resident room. I have another badge reel that has a little IUD on it and I think this is like the cutest freaking thing ever. Um, this is a, like a sample Mirena IUD and I think it's adorable. I got it back in medical school. I coordinated um, an IUD insertion workshop and Bayer brought us these little badge reels and I am, I, I just, I love it. So the bag comes with this little detachable stretchy hook and what I do is I always lose my hair ties so I just keep them all on here and then I hook it up to the bag where it has the little ring for it and then that way I never lose my hair ties. Actually I still lose my hair ties all the time but then I suddenly find them mostly in my car um, so then I just put the bag in here and then start the cycle all over again. I have another receipt and then I have this really cute um, pencil case that I got for my birthday from my co-residents and for my birthday it was filled with like um, face masks like sheet masks and it was so cute and I love the little pineapples on it it's so like summery and refreshing and makes me very happy and then on the inside I have a lot of random stuff so I have um, the strap the like duffel bag strap for the bag and then I have a lot I have what is this Advil cold and sinus pill and then I have all of the imaginable pens in the world. I love color pens. I have like an issue with colored pens that it's a little worrisome at times because I buy colored pens even when I don't need them. Right now I am obsessed with these Papermate um, Inkjoy ones. They write very smoothly. They're very nice. I got the 0.5 tip and they are so beautiful, so colorful, and they actually really last a long time. I have a pen light. So a pen light is what you use to check people's pupils. So when you go to the doctor and they want to check your the circles in your eyes, we like pass a light over it and this is what that is. And I also got it from Amazon. And then I have Benadryl, more Benadryl, and that is it for this pencil case. Oh look, the other arm of this little surgery mat. We were missing an arm. Next up we have this little Ipsy bag um, that I have filled with like beauty products. So I have the Bath and Body Works Winter Candy Apple Cream. I have an Origins Ginger Souffle Whipped body cream. I have a Vaseline Therapy lip balm. 
I have Ulta Beauty Juice Infused Lip Oil because my lips tend to get very dry here in El Paso and even more so at work because remember how I talked about staying hydrated? Yeah, I tend to be very dehydrated when I'm at work. Um, so these things come in very handy, especially the lip oil. Um, when they're very, very dry, it kind of helps make them like very moist and sticky and kind of prevents you from eating it. Um, so I really, really like that. And finally, I have a little sample lavender lotion that one of our nurses gave me once. And then that's the last thing that I have in this little bag. Sometimes I also have my computer in here, uh, but right now it's hooked up to my camera. So you're not gonna see my MacBook Pro. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I'm crazy. Um, so I got these little composition notebooks um, last year to keep my patient um, labels, uh, just to keep track of all of our cases because we have to lock them. And sometimes I don't always get the paper or sometimes I don't always get the label. So I have two systems to make sure that I have all of my cases. I also have this little memo book Sorry, my cat is attacking all of my stuff because he's asking for food, even though it's not time for food yet. Um, I have this little spiral composition book that I just write miscellaneous notes on, or if I'm having like a really off mind day, I can use it when I'm interviewing patients and just kind of have it there in my little notes. Um, ooh, this is a good one. So I have this operative flash dictation book. Um, it's really, really good, especially the first two years when you're still learning. Um, so whenever we do surgery, we have to do what we call a dictation. Sorry guys, my camera ran out of battery, so I had to change the battery pack. So I was talking about this book, The Operative Flash Di Dictation, and basically dictations are a, like a recollection of all the events of the surgery. So you kind of go through the steps um, of how the surgery was done and this is very helpful because you can give a copy of it to patients and that way if they move or they they get a new physician or they have surgery with another specialty um, that way they can give it to their new doctor and that person will know exactly what happened during the surgery um, it also gives you um, coding stuff which I won't get into um, but it's really really good it's a, an amazing book and I've gotten so much benefit out of it. I almost can dictate my C-sections from like my mind. Um, where in the beginning I had to read it and kind of go through everything using the little book. So that's like a really, really good book. Another really good book is The Little Red Book of Obstetrics and Gynecology. And this is the resident Bible, literally. So this thing has all of the stuff that we use on a day-to-day -day basis. And as you can see, I keep little sticky notes inside to kind of update the information that's on here. Um, so it's a really, really good resource for med students who are interested in pursuing OBGYN or um, residents who are looking for something to have in their like white coat or in their pocket to use as a quick reference to management and treatment and sometimes you get those brain farts that kind of like your mind gets really foggy and you're like ah i can't remember what the value for um like this one the glucose tolerance three hour testing were and then so you you have it in your little book um i also you really like this image um i love love this image um, about cervical dilation and effacement and I actually use it a lot to educate my patients on what um, dilation and effacement means so that they can kind of get a visual um, image of what's going on and better understand why they have to be patient and walk them through the whole labor process. So this is a really, really good book. I'm actually going to link um, down below a blog post that I did a few years ago on essentials for OBGYN rotation in case any of you are med students or PA students or nursing students who are rotating through the specialty and want some extra resources to study and familiarize yourself with the material. Those are really, really good options to invest in. We're almost done. Um, I don't have that much stuff left. left. Basically, I have a lot of folders. Ah! I have a lot of folders in here um, with different stuff. So I keep um, some with like the patient 
delivery information or the uh, brief op notes that we do in papers to, to kind of keep for my records. I have reading material in here, like ectopic pregnancies, reducing C-sections in women who've never had a baby before. I have like certificates from Art Grant Rounds. I just have a bunch of stuff in here that is very random. Um, so I have it in all these folders right here that all have different stuff in them. But these are actually really cute. Um, I think I got them from TJ Maxx and it comes in a pack of six. And I just like how motivational they are. And they're so, so cute. So yeah, it's kind of like a little motivation in my bag, you know? And then I have this little binder, it's not a binder, um, like a portfolio thing um, that has a little composition book and it has like a, full, a space for papers and a space for your pen right here. And I got it at Target during interview season and I used it to write notes on the programs and everything and then now I basically have it in my bag for random notes. So I have things here from um, conferences that I've been, seminars, uh, summarizing practice bulletins, random research ideas that I get. Um, so basically I use it as like my little extra brain stuff. Um, and then in this, oh well, we have a little pocket in here. Um, I had a battery in here that, oh, yeah, there's a battery in here. Uh, I don't even know if it works or not. Um, I think it was from my pager some time ago, or maybe it's a new one. I just haven't tried it, so, yeah. I have more papers, like patient papers. I have a bunch of receipts in here, business cards. I have my PGY1, like, ID card. I have a Bahama Bucks um, shaved ice gift card that I got um, in one of our reviews. One of our MFMs gave us some gift cards for answering questions correctly about diabetes. Um, so I have some shaved ice there for like the spring and summer. And I have this, um, like this was given to me by um, our program director in one of our um, like clerkship like reports and this is just um little messages from the medical students um so it's really really nice to get this and um just know that you're making a difference in their education um i really try to make my interactions with the medical students as honest and educational as possible because i know that not everyone is like that and i kind of treat them how i wish i was treated in some of my rotations and then I have this little back pocket here that I basically just keep like my favorite pens that I'm using at the time um, for easy access. And then that is it. That is it, you guys. This is my work bag. Now you can see all the crap that I have in there. Um, so yeah, let me know what other ideas you want to see from me, what things you are curious about, what questions you have, what other videos you want to see. Um, I will link everything that I can in the description box below. Like I said, a lot of things are from Amazon. They will be, um, I will be using their affiliate links. Um, so if you buy any of those, I will get a little, little commission, like a few cents from the purchase. Um, and those things will help me continue creating content for this channel, for my Instagram, and hopefully to retake my blog at some point. Um, this necklace I got myself for Christmas. It's from Orient, New York. It's a beautiful um, 14 karat gold medallion. It has a J in it. Um, and I have been wearing it nonstop since I got it. Um, so I'm very, very excited. I will link it down below as well if I can. And yeah, so without further ado, um, let's wrap this up. Thank you so much for um, going through my work back with me and now I have to put everything back in here. Um, consider subscribing if you haven't already and you want to see more of my content and I will see you guys in my next video.